Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Flash6792 here. Here to bring you guys my con update that I had uh, yesterday. I went to I had went to SatCon with my boys, and we picked up some good books. Uh, did some great hunting. Had a great time. Met some cool new vendor, cool vendors. Um, just awesome people. And before I get into that haul, I just want to give a I just want to show off my uh, Teen Titan Go figures that I got over the week. I uh, got them at Toys R Us. They had all all five of them, so I was just like, awesome, cool. Grab them all. Because I know Cyborg's one of the harder ones to get from this team. But I think actually all three of these are, but I think Cyborg and maybe Starfire are kind of the hard ones. <coughs> so I was real glad to grab those. But so that's going to be my background for this video. But let's get into the haul. Uh, but before I get to my con haul, I'm going to show you a few books that I got from a, from a eBay eBay seller. So I'm going to go through these real quick. So the first book I'm going to show you guys is Super Friends number one. Uh, it's a VG copy, um, but I got it. I was able to get it for five bucks from the seller. So it was a good deal. Um, I'm actually looking for Super Friends number seven, I believe it is. It's first Wonder Twins. So looking for that and also looking for Super Friends 14. I believe that's the origin of the Wonder Twins. But uh, that's a really, it's a really good book. It's actually, it has three first appearances in it. Um, I'm, and honestly, I do not know their names. I can't remember their names, but I remember watching this show when I was a little kid. Uh, but it's these three. That lady right here, that dude, and the dog. I forget what their names are. But it's real good to have this book. Really good. Uh, I kind of want to... This is a run I've been wanting to start for a while. But I kind of wanted to start with Super Friends number 7, but this works too. Uh, next book I got from that eBay seller was a book I've actually been looking for. Now I just need one more book to complete the series. It is Death in the Family number 428, uh, the third part to it. So I think I'm just missing part one now, book one now for this to complete the series. And I actually got this off of, I think, seven bucks. So that's a really good deal. I'll pay that all day. So that was actually a really good book. I really liked it. So I just need one more book to complete this run, to complete that Death in the Family run. So that'd be pretty good. Just gotta look for book one. So Death of Jason Todd. So or pre-death because he died. Yeah, so never mind. And then next book. Um, sorry guys, didn't organize these. Uh, Wonder Woman 163, same seller. Uh, first appearance, first Silver Age appearance of Giganta. Uh, very clean book. Uh, very nice copy. Has this little uh, tick right here, but other than that, it's a really good book. I want to say I want to give it like a fine minus, but it's a real bright color, real bright green on it. So that's real that I love about book. That's what I love about it. Real bright color on it. And then my next book is Avengers 52, the earliest Avengers book that I have. This is actually the issue where Black Panther joins the Avengers. So it was actually real good I got this because, you know, we all know Black Panther's coming to Avengers pretty soon and he's going to be in the Winter Soldier. So it's just real awesome to have this, have this book. So... If you guys don't know about it, Avengers 52, first time Black Panther. This is when the Black Panther actually joins Avengers. And plus, a huge shout out to my boy, um, Kid Drana, my buddy Mike. Um, he's the one who got me on these Black Panther keys. So, I'm going to give a huge shout out to him. Link will be in the description, so go subscribe to him. So he'll be having his con haul up soon, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, if you guys don't know, try and pick this up. Probably as cheap as you can. And obviously, 
it can't be a haul unless I have a flash book to show you guys. So I picked up Flash 127. This is actually first cover appearance of Gorilla Grodd. So that's actually a nice key. Uh, it has a little bend right here, but I think, but I paid eight bucks for it, so it's not bad. But the only bad part is, I didn't even realize this when I bought it, is that um, it had a detached cover. So I was like, oh man, and I and then I went back because sometimes I look over it and I looked at the description and it did say detach. I was like, freaking a. So I might I'm gonna want to get an upgrade of this for a de for an attached cover. So hopefully I can get one of those soon. But if not, this is fine. I have no problem with it. It's eight bucks. I'm not too I'm not too uh, upset about it honestly. So I'm happy with it. But still an awesome book. First cover panels of Grill Grod. And then my last book from that seller is Avengers 59. First Yellow Jacket. We all know he just made an appearance in the Ant-Man movie. So we're awesome to have this book finally. Been looking for this for a little bit. And real happy to have it. So real awesome. I'm actually kind of looking for the book after this. The wedding of uh, Hank Pym and Hope Van Dyne. So kind of hoping for that one next but this is awesome real happy to have this book uh vg copy has a little fadedness on the cover you see like the white is uh not that bright but it's all right it'll work for the collection so now let's get into the con haul um first book i want to show you guys this vendor was so awesome i actually got two books from this guy um, two? Yeah, I got two books from this vendor. And I want to give a huge shout out to them. Um, short Boxed. So if you guys don't know who they are, Short Boxed. Pretty cool people. Cool guy. Uh, go follow him on my Instagram. I got his. Let's see if I can get a... There you go. Focus. That's his um, Instagram name, Short Boxed. If you guys aren't following him, go follow him. Go give him a follow. Uh, but pretty awesome guy. Um, I'm going to show you one book first and then the other one's going to be towards the end because that's kind of like a little key I have. But this first book is is a new book from the New 52. It's Flash issue 40. Uh, this is actually the movie variant. I've actually been looking for this. So it was awesome. He had it for five bucks so I got it. And it is signed. It's signed by the... Uh, I believe this is the can't really tell to be honest with you but I think it's the penciler if I'm right I'm not sure because I don't think it's the colorist but I think it's the penciler who penciled the book but real awesome got another signed book I never thought I'd get signed books but I really wanted the book so I was like ah, I'll get it it's signed so it's there so I was able to get that and then I was actually and from another vendor I got um, for a dollar I picked up Firestorm issue 51. I know um, Omega Shin just showed this book, uh, but it's the first appearance of Sand Demon. He just made an appearance on Flash. Um, this and like issue uh, episode two, uh, named Flash of Two Worlds, Two Worlds of this season. So awesome! Was able to pick that up for a buck. Kind of happy with that. Um, Next books I got were from a vendor who was doing half off prices of what they were. Um, first book I got, they, she had this for, I believe, 10 bucks. So half price of that was 5 bucks. So I got the wedding issue of Peter Parker and Mary Jane. I was kind of hoping to find the one, the other issue where Spider Man's in his costume and they have the heroes, but this one will work for right now. But I will try and keep an eye out for that one though but this one's close enough five bucks i thought it was all right it was a good price and then the next book i was actually kind of happy to find was amazing the amazing spider-man 22 the annual same thing uh six bucks but had it for three bucks half price of what it was so first appearance of speedball so that was actually pretty cool because i know this book was hot for a little bit not too sure on what it is right now uh, but really awesome to pick that up. So really enjoyed that. And then the last book I got from this vendor um, 
had this marked at 20, so got it for 10. Um, some, I know, I believe it's Swamp Thing 35, I believe. That's the first Constantine. But I was actually looking it up and say, and they were saying that this was the first cameo of Constantine. So I was actually, I, I kind of was like, I was, I just got it for speculation purposes. Just because it's cameo, so sometimes people say first appearance, but it's a cameo. Uh, but I was actually looking through the book, but I really couldn't find him. I don't know if I just missed him, but they say this is a cameo of John Constantine. So I thought, what the hell, I'll pick it up. Ten bucks, I guess. But I'm still looking for that other swamp thing for his first full appearance, apparently. Um, I was able to pick up this guy, Demon Number 2. I'm still trying to work on my demon run, Jack Kirby's demon run, but this is kind of tough though, because you know, well, when I was at the con, all these books were, like, this one was half off, so this wasn't 10 bucks, this was 5 bucks, but um, everyone else was asking for 26 bucks for one book, uh, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, I was like, man, I don't even want to pay that much, like, 10, I probably would have paid for it, but if I can get it for under seven bucks i'll be happy with it because i do want to finish i do want to get this run completed i'm only like three or four books in but hey any little bit books help i guess one book at a con but one book something i just want to get it come get it completed but i've also wanted i'm like at the con i was also looking for my uh, mr miracle number one jack kirby but no one had it everyone had all the others but I'm, no one had Mr. Miracle. I was actually looking for number one and two, actually. Either one I would have started to start off that Mir Mr. Miracle run. But everyone, no one had them. But they had all the other Mr. Miracle books. But they wanted like 15 bucks for one. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to do that right now. Not for those two books. Not for any other book besides first Mr. Miracle and uh, part and first Granny Goodness. So I just kept on finding, try and find, I try and find good deals if I can. If not... It's all right. And this one, I was able to pick up Justice League 44. Um, I actually paid 10 bucks for this, so don't worry about the 20 price, $20 price tag. But there's no significance, just a Silver Age Justice League key. And I kind of like the cover. You see Flash and Green Lantern and Batman getting, growing, I guess it is. It looks like they're bigger than the others. But just a nice cover. I just picked that up, just a filler. And then I was actually kind of lucky because I was able to pick up some filler Hawkman issues for pretty pretty cheap, I say. The first few books I'm going to show you are half books I got, half price books I got, first five. Um, Hawkman 27, the last issue in this run, so I was able to pick that up first for a few bucks, uh, half, half a nine bucks, so that was pretty good issue 26 pretty nice and no none of these are in mylar because i am actually waiting on my order of mylars because i had to order some just this morning so they're all in these all in the poly bags that are all worn so i gotta switch out the bags so as soon as i get them but pretty good um issue 26 so that's pretty nice um next one issue 25 for seven bucks don't, like I said, don't worry about the price tags until I tell you guys. But right now, these ones I paid half off from whatever the price is. So half of 14 paid 7 bucks. So, and nothing like Hawkman's. I'm trying to. I'm actually getting into Hawkman really well. <coughs> so I'm actually kind of excited. Um, issue 24. Really clean copy, actually. This is actually a really nice copy. Uh, probably like a fine minus, I want to say. Uh, it does have a little wear, so maybe a VG plus, but I want to say that's pretty, that's a nice, real nice. Mm -hmm. um, 22, Hawkman 22. I really have a nice run of Hawkman coming along, I, honestly. I'm surprised no one's been picking up Hawkman. Just because he's coming in uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I just think, like, Hawkman's going to be one of the nice keys, nice keys or nice books to get. So i kind of been co collecting Hawkman as much as I can. And this is actually mostly, this is probably the most I've gotten of Hawkman in one haul. So, I'm actually happy about that. Uh, this one's actually, I didn't find this out till when I got home. This is actually a double of mine, Hawkman number 9. 
Uh, so, but it's still a nice cover. I think it might. Be, I think it's probably a lower grade than the one I have, but I didn't check. But uh, Hawkman number nine, still a cool cover. I'll, I'll still end up keeping it. But if you guys ended up, if you guys end up needing it for a run, I'll, I'll probably trade someone for it. I won't. I won't value it too much. It's probably like four or five bucks. So I don't know if you guys are wanting to trade for it. I'll be willing to trade for it just because. Um. Here comes some good Hawkman right here. Um, Hawkman number five, second appearance of Shadow Thief. So it was I was actually real happy I found this one. And but yes, I did pay twenty five. Well, I didn't pay twenty five, but I got him down to twenty for it. So that was actually pretty cool for me. Because this book and another book I got from another vendor. So I'll show you guys. I'll tell you tell you the price I got. I think I got him down to 20 to that. I'm not sure. I think I paid 40. I think I paid 40 or 35 for both both of these books. But second appearance of Shadow Thief. Uh, I did find a vendor who had the first appearance of Shadow Thief. But it was. They were just asking for a little too much for it. So I was like, ah, I'll pass. I'll, I'll deal. With, so I went back to that vendor that had this book. So I was like, okay. Second appearance, I'll deal with. So that's pretty nice. And then an awesome cover, really awesome cover, Hawkman number three, uh, the earliest Hawkman I have. Uh, just a real nice cover of Hawkman, Hawk Girl in the cage, just people shooting at him. Just a real nice cover. Can't complain about this early Hawkman. Real nice. And then I was searching for Wonder Woman at this con too, because I've been wanting to get Wonder Woman books, man, but. For some reason, everywhere I go, they're always just so expensive. Even at this con, is like they're asking like some of the bondage issues. They're asking for like fifteen, twenty bucks, almost thirty dollars. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. So I was just like, I, I only bought one book from this vendor just because only one one woman book from this one vendor because most of his books were kind of high, but he had good selection of books. So, but Wonder Woman. 177 uh the i believe this was the first meeting of wonder woman and supergirl you guys can correct me on that but he has it at a vg copy but vg plus copy but i think uh it's more of a i want to say it's a uh, what was it i don't know i'm kind of blanking out guys sorry about that but i got him down to 20 bucks for it so it's all right i guess 20 bucks not too bad probably could have got less from somewhere else but I kind of wanted to I wanted a Wonder Woman book real bad so I, I was good um where did I get this guy oh uh, these next two books are from another vendor um these guys were half off too there's a lot of vendors who had like half off books so I was actually kind of happy about that so here is Justice League 28 real clean copy really really clean copy if you guys can look at this right now it's just super clean like no ticks on the spine maybe just this one tiny one on the corner but you can't really tell probably in the camera but it's just real clean like nothing I don't know what this is though I want to see maybe a pin burst I, I haven't really actually you know what I actually haven't opened it so let's do it on camera I guess like real clean copy looks real clean just has that little that little I don't know if it's just an ink spot or something maybe a pen but it doesn't look like it got through any of the pages just on the top corners right here but it looks good to me um, it doesn't bother me honestly it's just the cover looks so clean on it so it's actually one of the nicer Justice League books that I have right now so this is like a a fine plus maybe it, I'd even give it like a fine mi a VF minus right now but it's just a clean book to be honest with you and then uh, this vendor's books were mostly nice books though too I think there's just one book I got from one that's kind of dinged up but I'll show you that in a minute um I was able to get world's finest 169 as well from the same that one vendor so I paid five bucks for it ten bucks he wanted ten but it was half off, so five bucks. Uh, I believe this is first Supergirl Batgirl meeting, I want to say. 
correct me if I'm wrong. I know I've seen this on, um, I want to say Lightning's channel. So, um, if you guys can help me out, because I kind of blink out on some of these when I'm trying, looking. And then it's, I want to say New Batmobile, Ooh, but I'm not sure. But <clears throat> really awesome. And But I believe this is also the third appearance of Batgirl. Third or fourth. It's one of the two. I'm not sure. I know it's one of those early appearances of Batgirl. So that's pretty awesome. And then I know... And this is another book. I paid half of this as well. Uh, Omega Shin just actually showed this in his recent haul too. Uh, this was actually Green Lantern 43. First appearance of Major Disaster. I've actually been looking for this one as well. Because I kind of want to get all the covers of Green Lantern that have Flash on it. Because come on guys. You know me. I'm a Flash guy. I want to get any cover with Flash on it, like Batman, Superman's, Wonder Woman's. If they have Wonder Woman's with Flash on it, that's what I want to get. But I mostly want to get all the Green Lanterns with Flash on it. So, <clears throat> even the first Silver Age crossover Green Lantern Flash, whatever. I want to say, I forget what number that is, but uh, this is actually pretty good. I like this a lot. And it's actually a, a BG copy, um, but it's a good placeholder in my Green Lantern run. And then now I get to the bigger keys. I was real happy on these four books that I got throughout the day. It was just awesome, great day. And I was real happy I found this finally. Superman 199, the first Flash and Superman race. I was, when I saw this in the, in the vendor's box is I was like I said 60 bucks and I happened to look down and uh, it said half off all books so it was 30 bucks so I was like oh I gotta suit this up because I'm not probably not gonna find another one like these in that of that kind of price yeah the condition could be better it has the little crease on the that big old crease right here on the top few down the middle but hey it's a Superman flash race for me I, I was I, now I finally have the first three races. I have this one. I have the one. I have the second race with in Flash. I believe it's one seventy five, and then I have World's Finest one ninety eight one nine and one ninety nine. So that's just real awesome to have. I even have my issue one ninety nine that I've already showed you guys signed by Neil Adams. So that's just real awesome. Real happy to have to have that in my collection. And then this one's actually really clean I got a great deal on this honestly Avengers 87 this one's the origin of Tuchella the Black Panther um I he told me I was talking because this is a vendor I usually see at most of the cons and he usually has some good books um and he was telling me at the beginning of the con he had had this at 80 bucks and um and then he got started walking around looking at other other vendors and he saw that everyone wanted at least a hundred for this so he said he wanted to get rid of it so he I think he said he put it down to 40 or 45 I wasn't sure and then I ended up looking at the book I ended up, I ended up taking it out I asked him if I could take it out and he said yeah go ahead and I ended up looking like it has like a little I don't know if you can tell like I believe you can uh, sorry for the glare has this little rip on the back on the front right here and then the spine was all right but and then on the back of the book it was missing a little chunk in the back corner right here so I ended up getting them down to 30 bucks so I was actually happy with that price because I honestly didn't want to pay 40 for this book especially because I'm not much of a Marvel guy but I'm more of a DC guy but 30 bucks I'll pay for this I'll pay for that book all day uh, cause I know my buddy Kidrano got it for 20 bucks at a, at a store, uh, I think like on his last haul or whatever. He had, he got one for 20 bucks. So, and his is a way better copy than mine. Whoops. All the books. Fell. His books are, his book is a way better copy, I believe than mine. Um, but, and again, shout out to him for getting me into these Black Panther books. We're awesome books right here. But origin, can't beat an origin story, so... If you guys don't know, if you guys, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have this, but if not, pick it up, man, before these Black Panthers get extremely expensive. And then the second to last book I have, again, shout out to Short Boxed. Guys, these guys, this guy was awesome. This guy was, has some great books. Um, 
he actually had um he actually had first ocean master and first mira and i really i man i wanted to get him i didn't i didn't but he was asking one i want to say 130 for mira and 110 for ocean master and i want to say they were both like vg copies um, but I probably could have got him down a little bit more because he was a good, he was willing to deal. So he, he was one of those vendors who, who is just a collector. He collects books and he goes to these conventions to sell. He's not like a vendor, like some, like how some vendors just do it just for the money and just want to, they don't want to haggle. This guy was willing to haggle, willing to make, uh, he was willing to accept offers if they were good. So really awesome guy uh i forget his name but he he just had some good books but i was i had already spent a, my limit and i only had like 50 bucks towards the end of my day so i i know i probably could have down i probably could have got it for 100 if i played my cards right but it's all right um i i had spent my limit and i was cut off at that point so i was good but the book I got from him was Shazam number one. First modern Captain Marvel. Really awesome book. Been on my lit list forever. And I've been on eBay. This thing is going crazy. Um, really can't find this for less than 50 bucks. But 25 I actually he actually gave it to me for 22 I believe. I was going to go 20 but 22 I, This guy was so nice. So I was like, nah, you know what? I'll, I'll take the 22 uh, so real awesome. Uh, has some browning right here on the white part in this little corner. I don't know if you guys can tell. Yeah, you can tell right here. Like you can tell it has some browning, but that's honestly fine with me. But the book is in prime condition. He already had it in the Mylar too, so I don't even have to waste the Mylar. One of my Mylars that I have left. I have like three left, so it's already in a Mylar. I don't even have to change it. Thank God. But yeah, really awesome book. Really clean book. Just so happy to finally have this in my collection. Uh, and the last book this is actually the first book I bought when I from the first vendor or probably second vendor I went to and I'm honestly surprised no one picked it up or probably has even seen but it was at the beginning of the con so but I picked this up so quick that I didn't even hesitate I didn't even I didn't even bargain with it just because and plus I didn't want bargaining because it was still early, so they probably would have said, "No, nah, it's still early. I could probably get it for what, I could probably get it for what I want." So I was like, "Okay, fine. I'm I'm just gonna get it for the price they asked, and it's Booster Gold number one, twenty bucks. That's what they're asking. Um, per, it's a real clean book too. Uh, I want I give it a fine. I I probably give it a fine plus, real fine plus on it. Um, I was hoping for the new stand edition, but." It's all right. This is this was fine, um, because I like new I like new stand editions sometimes, and this was one of them. I kind of want a new stand. But burst to gold, first booster gold. As we all know, this could be getting a movie. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this could be getting a movie with Blue Beetle. Uh, I believe either with Jaime Reyes, Blue Beetle, or Ted Cord, one of the two. But I think I have I have both of them, both for the first appearances. Either way, so. Real happy about that. But Booster Gold, we all know this book has been real crazy. So when I saw it for 20 bucks, I was like, it was no hesitation for me. I had to get first Booster Gold. Just a great book. Great, great, great condition. So I was happy with it. My first purchase is, my first purchase of the con. No hesitation, no nothing. 20 bucks. I, I don't know. Maybe it's gone lower. I don't know. I haven't really checked up on it recently. But I know the last time... I think it was probably when it was announced that Booster Gold and Blue Beetle were getting a movie, or might get a movie. I believe it was, um, I believe it was around the 20, 30, no, not even 20 bucks. It was like around the 40, 50 dollar range, maybe a little higher, and obviously a little more for graded copies, but great book, 20 bucks. I was like, all right, I'm happy, don't have to even think about that, so I, was, I saw it on their back wall, and I was like, I'm scooping that up. But that's all I have for you guys. Um, that's pretty much all I have. I have all those books to show you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope to have another haul for you guys this weekend. Because I am going to A1 Comics um, this weekend. Because they're having a Halloween sale. So that's going to be cool. Hopefully I can get some books there. Some nice Silver Age books. Maybe com 
maybe try and complete some runs or start some runs because I know they have some nice books, nice selections. So hopefully I can get that done. Um, but just don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And I will be back in a flash, and I'll see you guys next time.